Hey, it's me, Jeremy. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to tell you a story of the man who fooled Houdini and performed the trick that fooled him. Let me begin by telling you a little bit about the both of them, Harry Houdini and the man who fooled him, Di Vernon. Harry Houdini was the world's most famous magician and escape artist during that time. Some of his famous escapes were the suspended straitjacket escape, milk can escape, and the water torture cell, where he would hang upside down in a clear tank filled with water and try to escape. If these escapes or stunts look familiar to you right now, it's simply because of the great Harry Houdini that inspired modern magicians today. Houdini was also famous for debunking and exposing these spirit mediums who claimed to have supernatural powers or could speak to the dead. He also bragged that he could figure out any illusion if he saw it three times. Now, to the man who fooled Houdini, Di Vernon. Also known as The Professor, born in 1894, raised in Canada, started learning magic at the age of seven with this book, The Expert at the Card Table. By the time he was 13, he had memorized this book and his devotion to card magic and sleight of hand made him one of the finest card handlers in the world. But almost no one knew about him back then. In the year 1922, Vernon was visiting Chicago for the Society of American Magicians gathering at the Great Northern Hotel. And guess who was the president of SAM during that time? Yep, Harry Houdini. Vernon was then being introduced to Houdini and by accounts of Vernon's biography, Houdini actually rolled his eyes when he was introduced to Di Vernon, who back then was an amateur that almost no one knew. Vernon then proceeded to show him this. He took a deck of cards <clears throat> and then um, he asked Houdini to select a card. Any card that he liked, he could have. So he took one card out, in this case the Four of Diamonds, and then he had Houdini initial his name on it. So he wrote H, H, just like that. So you can see over here, and this was what he did. He took the uh, four of diamonds and simply just placed it underneath the top card like so. No questions about that whatsoever. Push the card in very slowly and with no funny actions or movements, turn over the top card and show that it was indeed the four of diamonds. Now at this point of time, Houdini's mind was racing, right? So Vernon did it again. Took the four of diamonds like so, took it and placed it underneath the top card just like that. And very slowly and very carefully push the card in all the way. And again, with no funny movements whatsoever, turn over the top card and show that it was indeed the four of diamonds. At this point of time, Houdini was quite stunned because there was no extra cards used. Houdini just made his name on the card. And so Vernon did it for the third time. Took the card, placed it underneath the top card like so, very slowly, very carefully, all the way in like this. And again, without any funny movements, turn over the top card, and there it was again, the four of diamonds. And then Vernon did it the fourth time, fifth, sixth, and seventh times. The last time, Vernon took the card like so, and placed it about halfway in the middle like this, and pushed it all the way in. And just like that, again without any movement, very carefully turn over the top card and there was the four of diamonds again. At this point of time, clearly Houdini had to concede defeat and this was the trick that fooled Houdini. Today is the 11th of June, it is also Di Vernon's birthday. Thank you so much for watching. You guys take care, stay safe, and I'll see you on the next one.